I'm going to show you how to create these viral ASMR videos without using Google VO3. I found an easier alternative that lets you make these kinds of videos from any country. Google VO3 is only available in certain regions and isn't accessible worldwide. That's why, in this video, I'll explain step by step how to recreate the same results, no matter where you are. First, I'll show you how to write the perfect prompts, then how to change the object colors, and finally, which text to image model is the best for generating high quality images. I'll also show you the best image to video model to turn those images into stunning ASMR videos with sound. Just like Google VO3, you'll learn how to generate videos in both YouTube and TikTok formats. Let's jump right in. Start by going to ChatGPT, then click on GPTs. In the GPT store, search for Make ASMR Images and Prompts and select that GPT model. I've made it easy for you. This GPT generates both the image prompt and the actual image idea. Click on Start Chat. Once you're in, type an object like apple along with a color. For example, apple red color or banana yellow color. The GPT will then give you a detailed prompt ready for use in a text to image generator. Next, it will ask if you want to generate the image. Reply with yes. It will then ask which aspect ratio you want, TikTok or YouTube. In this example, we'll choose TikTok. You'll receive an image like this. You can also continue by asking follow-up questions, like changing the fruit or the color. For instance, type green apple, and the GPT will instantly give you a new prompt. This works with other fruits too. I tried a yellow banana and a green melon, and the model responded with clear, detailed prompts every time. If you switch the format from TikTok to YouTube in your follow-up, the GPT will change the aspect ratio accordingly. But, as you'll see, ChatGPT isn't ideal for generating high-quality ASMR images. That's why I've integrated a better text-to-image tool into the GPT. Click the first link, which takes you to Leonardo AI. Inside Leonardo, go to Images, Models, and Presets and select Lucid Realism. This is the best model for generating realistic, high-detail images. Then, go to Image Dimensions and choose the Aspect Ratio, 9 to 16 for TikTok or 16 to 9 for YouTube. In our case, we'll choose TikTok Format. That's 9 by 16. Go back to ChatGPT, copy the prompt it gave you, and paste it into Leonardo AI. Click Generate, and you'll receive images like these. I tested the other prompts too. Yellow Banana, Green Apple, they all came out great. I even tried them in the YouTube ratio and Leonardo handled that perfectly as well. Once your images are ready, download them and return to ChatGPT. In the chat, I've also included the link to the best image to video generator, Kling AI. Kling can turn static images into dynamic videos with sound, just like Google VO3. Click the link and head over to Kling AI. Inside Kling, go to the video section. When you're on the image to video page, upload the image you created in Leonardo AI. Next, type a short description of what you want to see in the video. For example, cutting an apple with a static camera. Now click on Deep Seek. This tool rewrites your prompts so Kling understands it better. It improves clarity and structure for the AI. After the rewritten prompt appears, click on Use Prompt to apply it. Then, review the prompt carefully before clicking Generate. It's important to double check the AI generated prompt. For example, I had a case where it added liquid coming out of the apple while being sliced, and that's not what I wanted. So, I modified the prompt. After some testing, I found the right version that produced the result I was looking for. Take your time to craft your prompts carefully. Kling AI follows instructions literally, so clear input matters. You can even use my prompt as a reference. Kling AI also adds sound to your video automatically, just like Google VO3. If you don't like the audio, click the AI sound button, and it will generate a new one for you. I also tried the YouTube format, and this was the final result. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn how to do the same thing directly with Google VO3, my brother made a short tutorial that explains how to use Google VO3 from any country and for free. You can find that video right here.